A man that is not willing to die for something is not fit to live. So ask yourself, what is that one thing, that one person you love, the difference you would like to make, the change you want to see? Ask yourself, are you really willing to die for that? As I awoke on the shores of my subconscious, I kicked back, relaxed, and let the sand run through my toes. My spirit watched as my body was broken into different parts. My Crohn's disease was having a conversation with my Christianity. My stereotypes were playing on repeat on my iPod. My childhood was playing a game of Yahtzee with my future. My Hispanic heritage and my Caucasian culture were playing with the gigantic Rubik's Cube and purposely randomizing the squares while my memories were stuck together, creating a sculpture that I could not quite decipher so close. But as I stepped back, I realized that I realized that it was spelling out my name. Y'all, as cliche as it might be, it is still true that our past experiences define who we are, but not just the good ones. Those bad memories, those hard times, those mistakes that we have made that we try so hard to forget only make us stronger. Let's not forget that our heart is part muscle too. When it breaks, it hurts like hell, but every time it heals, we love that much stronger. At least those of us who are willing to be brave enough. So let us be brave, because what we do with the sands of time that we are given will define our future. So let's build, let's build sand, sand empires with museums and, and libraries and skyscrapers that can tickle Jupiter and demote deep enough to speak to the parts of ourselves that remain hidden. Allow us to give back to the next generation everything that the last generation took from us and more. So that way, when the waves of our actions ripple through the ocean of time and tsunami the sands, our future will stand strong, made stronger than even by the water as glue. Instead of being wiped out by the force, let us take the ocean by storm for the children's sake. So when the seed that should have been swallowed produces offspring, when our sons and daughters create their own sons and daughters, let us look them in the eyes and say, straighten up, little soldier. Despite what life may look like, get your JK Rowling on. Never be afraid to dream of magic. Allow your fantasies to break free of your heart cavity. Spread your wings, corporal, and learn how to defy gravity. Thank you.